You know, I try to, the best I can, interact with people. I always have dads come up to me and say, how do I get my daughter to be a sports fan like you are? What did your dad do? You know, we always have people at the games that obviously want to ask questions or come down and even shadow me, and that's really cool for me. I always have someone that walks around with me, and I try to, you know, get her an IFB and, and tell her the reason why I'm watching the offensive line versus, you know, going to stand over and watch the defense on the field. Just kind of be the person I wanted other reporters to be when I was interested and I was that age and I had the questions. I do have mentees that I really do everything I can to try and stay connected with and help them on their career journeys, whatever that may be. But I think that, to me, power is one of the most important things that you can use and wield to, to help people. And I'll be really honest, I have a significant amount of power and agency in my role at Twitter. They trust me and I'm so grateful for that. And I try and use that to make sure that we can in every way give back. It's amazing working with new talent. Uh, I've recently been able to work with Nikki Cross, who is new to the scene, and it has been the most fun I've had in my career. I've won the titles, I've been to WrestleMania as, as champion, and not that I wouldn't want to do that again, but I just love working with the newer talent and creating stories and just having that roller coaster of a storytelling ride. On a daily basis, I have a, a network of women that I always, you know, talk to and go to, and then from that network, they introduce me to other younger women, which I love. And you attend things like this, like the Trailblazer. You attend things and you, you, you get involved in the sort of ancillary networking events that you can go to that really push and talk about women. I try to get back actually helping other women and men, but particularly women, who I know are going to face some of the things I've faced, give them advice and mentor and tutor and help in any way I can. I try and do everything I can to bring people who may not have a voice to the forefront. I remember going up to a few reporters when I was in college and just asking them things about what got them there. So I, I try to be available and open and real about it too. Growing up in the media business, it was really, it's, it's fun, it's an exciting business. Um, you know, obviously that business has changed systemically. People have a lot of strengths and people have weaknesses. I got as many, if not more, weaknesses and strengths, but people tend to win on their strengths. So make sure that as you're working to make your weaknesses not as weak, that you're actually leveraging your strengths and working to make those strengths even more towering strengths, because people will succeed on what makes them different, special, and why people connect with them. It's amazing to be a woman right now in WWE. We have our women's evolution that has been going, and you know, obviously, 10 years ago our women weren't having these opportunities that we are having now, but you know, we earned them.